1 2 3 4 Welcome back to Technical and Pictorial Drawing at HelveticaMediumA.com.au I'm going to have a, a shot at drawing this planimetric drawing or a simplified version of it at least just to show you the process that I use for planimetric um, so that's a simplified house that I've created I've actually got some plans here that I've drawn as well so you can see that I've got overall dimensions both ways uh, and I've got an elevation an outside elevation of the north uh, an inside elevation of the north that we're going to need for the uh, sizes of the things inside I'm going to just do it exam style so I'm really just going to measure the existing dimensions on this plan because that's how they've been given to me so let's start here now what have I got I've got 60 63 by 34 beginning in the same way we all begin we begin most technical drawings we start by drawing a V shape here I do note note the direction this has got to go that the long side is on my right and the short side is on my left so I'll allow for that with the drawing. To draw a planimetric your first step is to draw the plan. Now what have I said? 63 by 34. Your first step is always to draw the plan rotated uh, to 45 degrees. It's really important that you get this down correctly because this is going to underpin your drawing. Okay, there's my plan. Now I'm going to create some details in here. I'm going to come back in. Well, in actual fact, I'll do the wall thicknesses first. They're two millimeters thick, so let's get them down. two millimeters this way and we'll see how far my little thing is here now I'm not going to draw I've been asked not to draw the front walls that would block out the view nine millimeters in here so we do want to know where this is but we don't want to draw these walls in the finished drawing Okay, so the first thing we need to do when you are doing a planimetric is you need to draw the plan. That's pretty easy to remember because it's called planimetric. That's your first thing to do. Just draw your plan. The second thing to do is to begin to raise up lines at all of the points where you will need them. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to try and draw the walls. So we do need to have all of these lines coming up. I think I need all of them. I'm not sure if I need these ones actually. Noting that in the corner you will find three lines. And probably, yeah, two here I think. One, two. Okay, now take your elevation, measure the height, 36, because that's what I need here, 36. 36 takes me up to there. Now you can measure in all of these, it's probably better to keep it more accurate. 
if you do or you can just use the 45 degree set square to go around it 36 I am actually going to go up this front one to make sure that I get everything in the right spot even though I am not going to draw the front wall so let's keep it light 36 but I do need that point to draw that there and I need this point of the wall here now from there I should be able to follow this around to these points okay now I've drawn the walls The next job is to find out where the windows are. So the windows are shown by these light lines and the window begins at 12 millimeters back from the front. Let's get on the plan again. 12 back, which is here. Checking that I've got my set square vertical and the window is what is it uh, 13 wide 13 wide Fifteen, thirteen 13 wide now there's a space in between which is about 4 and another 13. Okay, let's look at that. And there. Windows are three-dimensional, so don't forget to make them three-dimensional and the second line comes in here a little bit tricky until we've heavied it in okay so now we have the basis hang on a sec let's just finish this so we know where the window ends there that's the inside of that one so I need this one that's very confusing isn't it there there and about there okay so there are the windows I believe let's heavy them in a little bit here Having done the uh, plan, the floor plan, and the walls and the windows, it's time now to add uh, the details that we need to have. So I've measured this out. I think it's around about 19 or so for my bed. It comes back about 2 millimeters from that wall. So just as we did in the beginning, and I mapped everything out on the plan it's necessary to do the same thing here so you must always draw everything that you want to have in a planimetric on the ground first 8 by 24 I think 24 and 8 that makes it really easy for yourself if you just draw everything on the ground first then what we do is we just raise these up using vertical lines
and there. Then checking the elevation, the height of the bed is 7 millimeters. So let's do that there. 7, 7, 7, and 7 is the height of the bed. Okay, so the details on the bed, of course, can be added later, but I'll just pop a couple in now. And the kitchen bench was 13 high. So let's come up here, 13. I think that's something like it. I always go off the other lines on the drawing to make sure that everything's sitting parallel. And that's it. All I need to do now is put in some details. Uh, my stove and my sink. I mean these can be added in as you go there's the sink and the stove and I need to heavy in the line some pillows on here so there you have my planimetric technique draw the plan rotated 45 degrees work out what the extents of your drawing are raise lines up vertical lines up then measure them off, then create the walls. Add further details. I probably need to add some glass in here now. Add further details uh, to your drawing. Then when you come to draw the other features and furniture, again, draw them on the ground first on the plan, raise them up with lines, measure them off, and then draw in the details. Thanks for watching.